What's the first thing that comes to mind when I say the word maple? Syrup, hardwood, furniture, Canada's national flag. Maple trees are Canada's most iconic family of trees. Their name and leaf shape are instantly recognizable by many Canadians and by people from around the world. Hi, my name is Jacqueline with the City of Toronto's Urban Forestry Division and I'm here in High Park in Toronto, Ontario to share with you some information about the maple tree. In Toronto, four common maple trees are red maple, black maple, silver maple, and of course sugar maple. Now, sugar maple may be the primary source for producing that delicious maple syrup, when in fact, all of those maples can produce maple syrup. It's just that they wouldn't be quite as sweet as sugar maple has twice the sugar content. Guess how it earned its name? Maple trees are one of the first trees to flower in the spring, even before the leaves come out. Their flowers are small, so they're easily missed, but a great reason to keep your chin up as the cold spring drags on. In contrast, their showy fall colors demand attention as the leaves turn vibrant yellows, oranges, and blazing reds before falling to the ground. Of course, this time of year, the leaves have long left the trees, yet you can still recognize these magnificent maples by their branches. Maple trees are one of the only Ontario trees to have branches that grow directly opposite each other in pairs all along tree limbs. Maple trees provide food and habitat for many Ontario species, including numerous birds such as the purple finch, the evening grosbeak, the red-breasted nuthatch, and the black-capped chickadee. Along with chipmunks and squirrels, even honeybees have been known to use the early pollen for nectar. Maples continue to be a well-known and iconic Canadian tree. Keep your eyes open for them the next time you take a stroll through Toronto's city streets and natural areas.